I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this one. Uh, I know you've been waiting for it. So I figured I might as well, I have to do it. And what I mean is my last regular season game with Lexant uh, was against HV71 at home. And more so what happened right after the game ended. I know all of you have probably seen it, but if you haven't, let's run it. It was a pretty good game. I knew it was an important game for HV71. It was an important game for us to, to try to get in the top six. It was an important game for myself as well, just to kind of last push for to try to turn the season around and with a good note. Yeah, it just felt like a normal good game for myself. And then the two goals, obviously the first one was like a pass off front and he like one time to the side. It was kind of, a, it would have been a tough play to kind of read the pass as well. And then the second goal was kind of like when I, maybe want it back with the guy walking in, but there was like a guy fanning out for one time around the other side, but uh, he ended up shooting a good shot, but obviously I, I feel like I, I should have made that save. And then obviously everything that led into that, that big moment was overtime and uh, their guy, they have a line change. The guy who's coming off the ice is still on the ice when the guy who jumps on plays the puck. I think he even grabs the puck because it would have been too many men. He goes over the blue line, it should have been offside. And he, that's the guy who comes down and breakaway scores. Let in a goal, lose the game. Should have been an offside, should have been too many men. So a lot of things that kind of happened and then boiled over. Obviously, I should have never done that. And I, it's embarrassing and, and it's something that obviously should never happen. I don't really know what went through my mind. I know people are asking, why did you do it? Well, it's like, Obviously, everything that led up to it, those four factors that I said, uh, probably knew it was going to be my last game. It's a good thing the ref didn't get hurt or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, we move on and, you know, the guys in the locker room thought it was funny. And right now, all you can do is just kind of laugh about it, learn from it. And I promise you it won't happen again and lesson, lesson learned. But... Yeah, today's, uh, today's the last game of my suspension. We're currently in the playoffs. In this video, obviously, I'm going to talk about, like I just did, about the bottle throw. Round one of playoffs, which is a best of three playing round. And then my future in Lexan for, and for next season. So hopefully it won't be the last one of the season. So make sure to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and hope you enjoy the video. So for that little bottle throwing incident, I got a five game suspension and a, and a hefty fine. And today is the last day I'm suspended. Uh, we're currently in a three game uh, playoff series against Rögle who goes into the quarterfinals. So it's kind of a playing round, wildcard round, however you want to call it. We won the first game on the road. If we win tonight, we're going in the quarters. If we lose, decisive game three is here tomorrow. But hopefully the boys will get the job done tonight. We'll go on to the next round in the quarters. And it's time to head to the rink, watch the game. Oh, 
Tough loss last night, the season's on the line today, the big decisive game three. I'm free from my suspension, and this just kind of reminds me of last season when we played in the same best of three series. We lost the first game, then we won the second one, and then it was a back-to-back -back game for the first time that season. That season was on the line, and it felt like a coin flip, but watching last night's game, we dominated, so I'm pretty confident that we'll, we'll be able to get the job done, and I'm excited to just be back in the lineup, but I'm just heading out to morning skate, pretty optional for, <laughs> probably for the guys who played, but I'll be out there doing probably some goalie drills, and then, uh, yeah, just prepare like I'm playing, and, you know, if anything happens, and uh, yeah, looking forward to tonight. All right, so it's been a couple days since that tough loss. Um, season's over. Pretty empty feeling as it usually is after after a season and uh, figured I'll hop on here before I, I ditch town. You can probably see the bags are bagged in the, in the background. I got a flight back home to Minnesota tomorrow. I think watching the games and then being on the bench for game three, uh, we, were, we were by far, I think, the better team. Uh, dominated the play. I think we doubled pretty much the shot the shot counter each game. So I feel like we definitely deserve to advance, but that's hockey sometimes. And that's kind of the best of three series in three games in four days. And it's kind of a coin flip when, you, when it goes to game three. And th the same situation we were last season when we lost in game three and season was over. It was a difficult, frustrating season for me. Um, not up to my standards. I uh, didn't get to play that much, but I'll probably do like a season recap at some point, kind of take a deeper dive and dissect the the season and what was going on and the lessons lessons learned. And uh, I know I was going to talk about what's going on with me and Lexan for moving forward, but just going to go through the meetings with the team and talk to my agents and kind of um, go from there and 
when I can make a, a detailed announcement explaining stuff. So I'm gonna wait until the until the next video. But that's it. Life in the SHL season two pretty much comes to a conclusion. This is the last time I'll be filming in Sweden. Um, excited to go home, see the girls. They left a couple weeks ago. I'm with the dog, Piggy. So hopefully everything goes well with the travel. Sad that the season's over, but also excited to, uh, after a couple days since, since the game ended, to uh, kind of go home and just see the girls and get, get back home and kind of uh, reset and pretty much start preparing for the next season. But I want to thank you guys for hanging on. I think definitely the the future in Lexan video is coming up soon once I get get an idea how to do that and then uh, probably a season recap as well. Pretty empty feeling like it usually is after the season but thanks for hanging out this season, these last se two seasons uh, doing the life in the SHL. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the the behind the scenes look of what it's like. Just let me know what kind of off-season videos you guys want, workouts or skates or just family life or whatever and uh, I'll kind of I'll kind of make these videos as I have time and interest and sometimes a little break from doing the editing and filming is a, is a good thing as well. But that's it. Thank you guys and see you soon.